Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another toy review. And today we're here to take a look at Godzilla. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so we got, uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, so this is not Godzilla. Well, what do you mean? Of course it is. Look at its face. I, I, I mean, just look at it. No, really. Look at it. Ah, whatever. So anyway, yeah. So uh, moving now. I'm moving on now. So uh, no. So this is uh, the Ultra Monster 500 series. Uh, well, it used to be called 500 series. Now they just call it Ultra Monster series. Uh, number 80 Arstron. And of course, obviously, uh, I've joked about it before, but I, I am not joking. When I saw it, when I was watching Return of Ultraman for the first time. Like, uh, seriously, like, it, it looked like another, like, Godzilla knockoff for sure. I mean, to be honest, when you see how he is in the show, it's not hard to see that, but obviously... <gasps> Sorry about that. Obviously, yeah. I mean, it looks nothing like him, but it, the resemblance, though, is quite interesting. The only thing that kind of, you know... Obviously, the most interesting thing with his design is, of course, the horn. So, just thought I'd do a little bit of a, a comparison. So, uh, Arstron first appeared in the, uh, first episode of Return of Ultraman. And the name of the episode, just trying to remember in my head, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, hold on, give me one sec. Okay, All Monsters Attack, yeah, that was the name of the episode. Uh, so basically, um, he also appeared in the same episode as Takong, but the only difference, obviously, was that, uh, Ultraman Jack wasn't able to fight Takong in this episode, it wasn't until the next one, so, uh, we literally had, like, three kaijus in one episode, so that was quite interesting, and basically, like I said, there isn't really much to discuss when it comes to this character, that's pretty much what he is, he's just a creature that just looks similar to Godzilla, but not exactly, uh, but obviously we know that this is not the first time that Subaraya would, like, reuse suit, suits and all that. Uh, we all remember Gyras, or Gy Gyres, or however you say it, from the, from Ultraman. And so, yeah, you never know, so, I, I don't know. And, of course, as we take a look at the profile pic right here. Uh, so, of course, this is an updated picture. This is when he, for, this is when he, uh, came back in Ultraman G. Or Ultra Ben Geed, as some people call it. Uh, I think it was episode 5, if I remember correctly. That was when Ultra Ben Geed got the uh, Acro Smasher ability. That's when he's all blue and stuff. Obviously, there's nothing in the back. Just more Asian writing that I don't really know what it says, unfortunately. And then, of course, in the inside, as always, there's nothing inside. Uh, so, as you can see from the picture right here. Uh, and, and, you know, it looks looks nice. Kind of resembles him a little bit, you know. Nice little rubby, rubberiness to it with his suit. And of course, like I say, I, it's it's weird that how he kind of looks like Godzilla, but not exactly, you know. Uh, so without a doubt, I think you guys already know how I feel about the design aesthetic of how he looks, you know, particularly with like his design, not the figure in question, obviously, you know that these action figures are pretty good. I mean, these are Safubi, you know, like uh, vinyl dolls, as some people kind of call it in Japan. Basically, they're like these sort of softer materials uh, with the plastic. This one's somewhere in between. It's a little soft, but it is pretty hard uh, to say the least. Uh, you know, and then obviously, as you can also see, unfortunately, with like the weird waist part, uh, well, I shouldn't really say unfortunately, at least you don't wreck it, you don't see it too much. Uh, it, it tricks you into thinking that he might have some waist articulation, but he really doesn't. So he only has two points, just his two tiny little arms. I mean, that's, a, that's about it. I mean, look at that. It's, 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 a, it's adorable. Look at this little bastard. Look at that. But the painting looks great, of course. You know, I gotta give a compliment for that. He looks really, really nice. And then, of course, the nice bumpy textures, which I I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. It reminds me of Godzilla. But obviously, he has, like, a very, very more reptilian type sort of, uh, uh, you know, skin type, to say the least. He's all kind of, like, dry and stuff like that, which is, I guess, an interesting choice, you know. And then, of course, you got this... I don't know what this is. I can't really say if it's like a like a weird sort of violet purple or if it's like some kind of brown. It's one of those weird colors where it kind of tricks your mind a little bit. And I swear it's not because of what happened to me yesterday. Because I was supposed to do this video yesterday. But, you know, I mean, the only reason why I'm laughing about it. Because uh, the good thing is I'm fine. I'm, all, I'm healthy. You know, I'm not. There's nothing really wrong with me besides the whole breathing issue thing that I did mention in my community tab. So it's just thought I kind of point that out. Because I said that I was going to be doing videos every Wednesday. And I... 
I would eventually change it, but obviously, you know, things happen, so I do apologize for the delay, uh, but of course, you know, sculpting and painting, I never really seem to have an issue with them, he looks great, you know, and, uh, definitely, you know, with the, the dorsal fins, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, some weird rubbery stuff, you know, like, I'm, I'm 100% sure that when they were making these suits back then, depending on how much materials they have for it when they were making these uh who knows maybe they wanted to make something cool but then they really couldn't we all know that this is when the suit actor goes into the suit so you got that weird kind of ugly line thing going on but it's not too bad you know it, it, I, I i see what they were doing you know it's like these figures try not to break the immersion but at the same time we all have to remember that these are guys in suits after all you know so you got that and of course we got the, the horn if i'm gonna try and zoom it in a little bit because i would like to talk a little bit more about his his face Obviously, you got that nice little snarl type thing going on. He looks really angry. Come on. He looks like Godzilla. He, he, he kind of he kinda, he kinda does, you know? I mean, he specifically looks a little bit like the 1984 Godzilla, which is ironic because Return of Ultraman premiered in 1971. So, okay. You know, that's interesting. The weird connections, you know? I mean, we all know that EJ Subaraya, we know that he had, like, a bunch of connections with Godzilla. Even even though for for the most part he wasn't like always credited from what I've seen with the research and all that and of course uh, like I did explain during my Ultraman Jack review, uh, Subaraya uh, end up uh, unfortunately passing away with his son taking over if I remember correctly and you know so of course that's kind of sad honestly you know, uh, so I just thought I kind of mentioned that because you know you want to you guys want to know more about your your favorite kaiju's you know what I mean uh, it's uh, you know. Uh, like I say, I don't really know where to really go with this. I mean, you know, I do like the eyes a lot. I mean, it's it looks cool. I, I like how it also sort of, sort of breaks the immersion with all the other colors, too. He has, like, that weird, like, kind of crazy look to it besides the weird angry face. And then, of course, the tusks. Although, I can't really tell. I think they're going down the tusks, you know, just trying to kind of look at it. And you got the nose, you know. It looks pretty cool. And of course, we got the under the feet, you know, it says 2017 on it because that was, of course, the year that Ultraman Jeet appeared. So it makes sense that obviously the way that Bandai makes their figures is that if if there's a classic Kaiju returning and it hasn't got a figure yet, they're going to give it a figure. So I am very happy that he exists because I love growing my classic Ultraman collection. So that's fantastic. So, of course, uh, I already went over the articulation and oh, before I forget the little little white little toes right there, you know, for the most part, I don't I don't think. It's the same color as his teeth. Actually, you know what? No, I don't think so. I, I I highly doubt it. I don't think they're painted the same like with his teeth. I don't think... No, okay. It's definitely not. It's one of those weird things. I don't know how to describe it. This figure definitely has like that weird thing with the immersion. I can't help it. Uh, so, everything I've said has been very positive. Uh, and I'm going to get to the negatives right now. And for one of them is the unfortunate thing with the tip of the horn. So, you can't really tell because I got a crummy camera, you know, it's it's mostly my phone. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, because I've dropped him a couple of times, the paint wears off on the tip of his, his horn uh, on his head. So, that's pretty unfortunate. Luckily, it's not noticeable, you know, and it's still like a nice silver despite some of the blues kind of seeping through. But you get the idea. It's pretty good for the most part. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, that's that's good, you know, for the most part. And, you know, look at that, he even saying hi. That's great. So, speaking of hi, uh, so let's compare him, right? Let's do some size comparisons before we end the video because you guys know I love to do that. So, of course, you know, I have to bring him. I, I have to, guys. I'm sorry. Here he is with the one and only Gogeta. And, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a big boy. Look at that. Wow. So, of course, obviously, uh, this Godzilla figure in particular, this is the uh, um, 1968 the Destroy All Monsters Godzilla. This is definitely not only one of my favorite designs, but this is actually one of my favorite action figures of all time. Because it perfectly matches how he looked in the film. And, of course, you can see the beautiful textures on him. And so, I gotta do a review of him. I just got to, you know? And he looks really, really nice. I love the way he looks. I think you guys are starting to see a little bit of the comparison now, but not exactly. Look at that! He could be a little baby. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll stop being weird now. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I have to stay happy, you know, especially after what happened to me yesterday. I mean, oh boy. 
Yeah, I, for those of you who haven't been caught up, I ended up in the, uh, the emergency room, but I'm doing perfectly fine. Trust me, I, I wouldn't be fine, you know, if I, if I wasn't doing this video. If, if I, if I wasn't fine, I wouldn't be doing this video. Even though it is surprisingly short. Uh, so, yeah, for the most part, yeah, I'm surprised this video hasn't even gone like 10 minutes yet. Uh, so, here he is, of course, compared to, uh, the hero himself. And here he uh, oh, 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 no, 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 oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty tiny, I mean, he's not the worst, you know, there's definitely a lot, <laughs> a lot more bad out there when it comes to the sizing, but, like, yikes, I mean, I, it happens, you know, I, I, usually I don't complain too much about the sizing, but it's like, I, I, I don't know. It, it is a little bit of a bothersome in this situation. It, it's really hard to, like, kind of justify it a little bit, you know. I, I don't know. I think the reason why it bothers me so much, it's because of the horn, you know. It's, like, it doesn't really make up for it. I, I don't know. Usually, I don't really care about the size, you know. that That's not what bothers me, you know, honestly. It's, like, as long as he got good sculpt, that's fine. But it's, like, I think in this situation, he's a little bit too tiny. Actually, he's not even facing the camera. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, so, I mean, of course, you know, why not? Let's join, you know, his his uh, his other pals, the Ultra Brothers. You know, we got Zulfi. Uh, no, not Ultraman, Zulfi. They literally just called him uh, Zulfi, <laughs> literally. And I would get Ultraman g but he's, like, really high up on my shelf, and I don't got the strength to really go through all my collections right now. So I hope you guys could kind of understand that a little bit, you know? I mean, my back's killing me for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, here's here's seven. Just to kind of give you guys good uh, a little bit of an idea with the sizing. Also, I already did review all these guys, so please take a look because I do have a whole playlist. And of course, I mean his, you know, Ultraman. You know why not? You can't, you know. Unfortunately, yeah, especially with Ultraman G, it would have been nice if I would have gotten the Acro Smasher, but unfortunately, that that's one of the many figures that did got uh, kind of rare and a little hard to find, so I'm hoping that eventually Bandai would re-release them, and I think they will, because they have done that a lot in the past. Uh, they've been doing that, well, not in the past, but like even recently, too, they re-released some older figures, uh, with the only difference is that they got updated tags. Uh, and of course the tag that I showed you before it's not updated. This is like the actual one that you would find uh, For the most part, although I would assume that it will be updated at some point because this figure did came out in 2017 uh, So of course let's compare him to uh, to Kong to Kong to Kong. Yeah, whatever his name is Yeah, the weird big oil monster, right? So I mean they look perfect together they look pretty nice. Too bad they're uh, kind of enemies, sort of. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit, right? So he would, of course, also appear in um, Ultraman Taiga. Uh, but he didn't look like this. He actually looked like this. So, yeah. He's, he got an upgrade in the in Ultraman Taiga. So just to kind of do a comparison, because I will review him, but it's going to be a long time till I get to that review, you know, for a consistency stake, obviously. So he looks very nice. I, I love the way he looks. That's uh, really good for sure. I do like that a lot. So what I mean by that is that in Ultraman Taiga, basically, uh, he was kind of fighting off, you know, with, with Takong. So oddly, Takong actually became the ally in this episode. They were actually like finding each other of course and all that uh but then eventually that would all change and then like ultraman z where takong is literally a bad guy again i think it was an ultraman z i i hope i hope i remember that correctly uh so yeah um uh, that's a that's about it honestly yeah so that's kind of we're gonna end the review there uh so of course everything is fine you know uh the figure paint it's good i mean eyes I, honestly everything the horn it's nice of course, it's just the size, obviously, that's a, a little bit of the, um, does kind of make this a, a little sour, but not as much. I'll still give him a, a good, a good, uh, you know, a good uh, review. Yeah, I, I give him like a good 9 out of 10. I, I think it fits it. It's one of those weird situations where it sh technically shouldn't be that low. So, okay, I'll give it some slack. I'll give it a 9.5. Okay, I'll, well, let's do it that way, because, I mean... There really isn't anything wrong with the figure because, yes, I, I know I always got something positive to say. I understand, but trust me, uh, we'll definitely get to those figures that 
definitely doesn't have much of the positive perception, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You definitely get your fair share of figures that aren't painted properly, you know, if that makes sense. So, we'll definitely get to those. I mean, then again, I don't know why you would want something negative, but that's just me, you know. And then, uh, of course, before I end it, I just want to say it again. I do apologize for what happened to me yesterday. Basically, I ended up, like, you know, in the emergency room. It was, it's hard to kind of explain. Basically, what ended up happening was I'm completely fine. I'm healthy. Uh, they did my blood work, my x-rays. I'm perfectly good. So, the issue that I have, it's kind of like a breathing problem, basically. It will go away on its own, though. It's nothing bad. It's more like a, it's like a in, how do I say it, inflammation type thing. So I just got to take medicine just to kind of relax a little bit and chill out. So that's where I'm at health wise, but I should be okay. So uh, I do want to thank everyone for at least commenting too, because that was pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, um, hopefully we'll go right back onto schedule with next Wednesday, even though today's Thursday, but um, the next toy review is going to be a Ninja Turtle. So it's going to be, of course, Superfly. You know, the villain of TMNT Me and Mayhem. And then, uh, you know, we'll definitely go on more from there. Because I know a lot of you guys like these reviews and you want to see more. So, I'm going to try and plan out, uh, you know, at least what I might do. Uh, you know, but it's going to take some time. So, until then, thank you guys for watching. And uh, have a good one. Yeah, thank you. Peace.